Bill Nye visited Murray State this February to talk about his favorite thing, science, for the MSU Presidential Lecture Series. Nye, well known for his show Bill Nye the Science Guy, commented on a wide range of topics before the lecture. Roundabout U was there to hear the science guy talk about his passion for discovery. What do I like most about science? Everything. <laughs> no, I, I will talk about it later. I call it the joy of discovery. When you find out something for yourself, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. To me, the absolute most amazing thing about the universe is we can understand it. You know, when I, I, I uh, have spent a lot of time with dogs, talking with dogs, interacting with dogs, and they seem very happy. I mean, they seem to have pretty good lives, a lot of them. But I've never seen them, I'm not sure that they really ponder that. I'm not really sure that they sit around and think about their place in the universe. However, I'm convinced they experience the joy of discovery. A bone, cool! Yeah. And uh, it's deep within us, that's my claim. It is deep within us. When a comment was made about the abundance of science education material online, Nye responded with praise for the speed at which information can now be shared but also a warning saying people should be careful about what they choose to view. There's so much to watch. You can now go on YouTube and watch all kinds of astonishing science demonstrations. You can watch my show, you can watch anything. And that's good, but the downside is you have to learn a new skill as a viewer. You get so much more information, so much more quickly so many more science-themed videos so much more quickly that you have to learn as a user, as a viewer, as a, as a student, as a researcher, you have to learn to sort through a great deal more information that's of lower quality. It's a different skill, but it can be learned. And it's generally agreed that you get a much better answer. You get much closer to the truth when you have many, many more not as accurate things as just a few pres presumed precise things. Evolution is the basis of biological thought, though there are many who deny the theory. Nye is adamant about the theory of evolution as it is key to improving science literacy in the United States. You don't want the Commonwealth of Kentucky, which is now, by the way, 37th, 37th in uh, science education. You, you don't want it to fall farther behind. You, you, want, you want the Commonwealth of Kentucky to be the best in the world, right? In everything. And so uh, that, that's why I want to call attention to this. It's not trivial. These, this subtle thing that's happening where the other side, if I can use that term, is trying to introduce, is working very hard to introduce the idea that scientific uncertainty is si the same as scientific doubt. And that's, that's incorrect. Nye asked people if they've ever benefited from medical technology, computers, cell phones, or other modern inventions to prove a point about the importance of science. Nye asserts that scientific literacy is crucial for the continued development of America's economy. We wouldn't have any of that without science, without this way of knowing nature. So we want to embrace that. We want to promote it so that in the future we will have young people who can innovate, especially become engineers, to make the new things for tomorrow that will keep the United States in the economic game. And there is an irony for me that the same conservative people that want to promote a healthy economy have this opposition to science instruction. It, is an, it strikes people like me as an ironic, as inconsistent. Right now, the evidence for climate change is overwhelming. And the, uh, process of evolution that allows us to predict things about living things is, is astonishing. And uh, so we, we want to include it in the science curriculum.